Hi and welcome to our next video on Cisco Packet Tracer. In the last video we looked at a router and how we set up a router in Cisco Packet Tracer. We're going to look at another commonly used network device and that is a server. A server is a computer system that provides services or data or programs to other computers or what we call clients over a network. Whenever a computer shares resources with client machines, they are considered servers. There's many different types of servers, too many that we could take a look at in this video, but some of these are web servers like Google, file servers like your personal drive space that you have at school. There's email servers, there's database servers, there's virtual servers, and many more. Just like many devices that we've looked at already in order to access a server we must find or determine the IP address of the server. So what we're going to do in Cisco Packet Tracer is set up a server and using the IP address we are going to try to access the server. So let's go in and let's take a look at it. So I've already chosen some IP addresses for the following. A really simple device if we go to end devices here let's have just one PC and then we'll have our server here choose this server and then in between these let's have a switch so it looks like this so first thing we need to hardwire these devices up so we're going to go down to connections. Now normally we've always gone to one of these two cables here just to show you it does have a automatic feature here so if you actually choose this here it will actually determine the right kind of connection for you so let's just use that just so you can see how it works so you're going to click on this here and then click on the switch notice it doesn't ask you which port it determines that for you. So just click on this, click on the device, click on the switch, and there. So now we've got the devices connected together and you can see that the switch here is still learning and listening to the devices. We can go in real-time mode, we can go click on this if we want to speed this process up. So click on that and you can see that these are green. So let's go in to this PC that we have here. Click on this and we're going to go to desktop. We're going to go to IP configuration and let's give this device a static IP. 192.168.0.1. Click on subnet mask and it defaults to that and we don't have a router so we don't need a default gateway we don't need a DNS server so that's it for this a switch is a plug-and-play device so we don't have to configure it we just need to connect it so we don't have to do anything with that the server though we're gonna click on that and we're gonna go to the desktop and IP config and we're gonna give it the following IP address 192.168.0.2 click on subnet mask and it will default now just to show you what it has if we go to services we can actually see that the services that this can offer so if we want to use it as a web server we can choose this here or a DHCP server which we'll look at in another video so there's many different services or things that we can offer with this type of server we're just gonna click on this one here notice that HTTP is on by default and so is HTTPS that is on by default and you can actually go in and you can actually the edit the pages that are already pre-built in Cisco Packet Tracer. So I could go to this index.html file. I could go edit. Actually go in here and edit this here. And 
and I could go into the HTML code and we could say welcome to your lesson on computer servers and we could save that and overwrite and there we've actually went in and edited one of the pages that we can view from another machine so now what I can do is I can go into this device here and I actually can go to the web browser so that's this right here so I can click on this and what it's asking for is the URL for the server so we know what that is we just assigned it it's 192.168.0.2 we can click on go and there we can see that here was the title if you remember the HTML code Cisco packet tracer and we put in welcome to your lesson on computer servers and then there was some other text that was there so there we set up our server as a web server and we use the IP address and type that into the URL box here and typed go and then we could go and access the information on that server so that's how you can set up a server in Cisco packet tracer I highly suggest you open up packet tracer and try it and see if you can get it to do the same thing that's it for this video we'll see you next time